Hello guys, how are you guys doing? Good to see you again, Scarbrand, hope you're having a good day, same to you dude man, good to see you both. So we're gonna continue today with our previous uh, kingdom we did, the Muramasa Japanese kingdom. And uh, made some coffee, Actu actually made two coffee on accident. <laughs> I was making the first one and then I, then I pressed the button another time and accidentally made two coffees. So now I have the double coffee amount, I guess. <laughs> So let's see if I can get correct save. I was experimenting uh, with uh, a new house. Let's see if I can get the correct save. Should be this one. Oh yeah, I don't have any music. I disabled that. So let's turn it on. Here we go, music. <laughs> Quite all right. How about you? Steady as it goes. Uh, it's, it is pretty good, I would say. I started the day pretty pretty tired, but uh, now I'm feeling pretty good. I got the last walk out in the sun before the sun went down, so that was pretty nice. And I had some good taco pretty recently. It's the next day at 12 p.m. Yeah, that that uh, 12 hour system always confuses me. So 12.30 p.m. is pretty much 30 minutes after midnight, I think. I spoke about that on a live stream yesterday. I think I asked what it was. What, maybe it was on Dude Man's live stream. The weather's still nice. Yeah, it's really good now. It's like really, really, really warm and very, very sunny. We well, yeah, had been some fixes, by the way, for uh, this uh, kingdom. So in the previous episode, we had those uh, crazy doors that was acting really weird. So they have been fixed, but we might need to delete the doors and put in new doors. Just to fix it. And maybe even need to rebuild houses. I'm not sure if we're gonna need to do that. We will see. Let me know guys if you want a guy in the game or a girl to be named after you. It is smooth. Hello Luke, how are you doing? Okay, that's nice. Uh, let's see if they're gonna put this one. I did put to make some. Let's see, do we have the made yet? Nope. Yeah, now it's a lot smoother. I really like... I don't get, for Stoneheart, why the developers never added so you can select the resolution for this game. So you can set like, I want to play 1440p, I want to play 1080p, 720p, or something like that. You, I have to change the resolution inside of Windows for my entire monitor to change the resolution in the game. <laughs> and this is like one of the only few games I know do this thing. How many Muramasa does your town have? Um, that is not named like that. I guess it's round three, four, three, four. Yeah, four. Uh, what in this mod they didn't see the first stream? Uh, we didn't really get much to the soldiers, so um, we have some new armors and we also have some new weapons. And I do see that uh, it looks like the Fisher class actually got their own like armor and stuff, clothing. It's not that normal raincoat. So that looks pretty awesome. Liking that. Hello, happy avocado. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. Okay. Oh, wow. This one is also messed up. <laughs> Taking a long time to craft that. Oh. Are you stuck? Nani. <laughs> Um, we can teleport it with the developer tools, but we can also, if we go inside of here, uh, we can tick this little thing when people get stuck to teleport them. I still hope that Ace is going to add a little button down here somewhere, so you don't have to go into that menu. Because it's a little bit slow to have to go into it. But super useful when it gets stuck some. I'm doing good, how about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Like yesterday, I was very tired. But now I'm feeling pretty good. What's my favorite kingdom? Hmm. I guess it depends on my mood, but uh, I would say maybe Northern Alliance. Hopefully, Walter's not here. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I also do like the Nordlings. They are. I guess they're not similar to Nordlings, but Nordlings are really, really, really nice to play as well. Like the good thing and fun thing is that with them is that they get some of the classes a lot earlier, 
like the shepherd, which I really, really like because I prefer when it doesn't take like a couple of years just to get a shepherd. Having a shepherd early on is really, really nice. It, um, I think it makes the town look more interesting. We have a little bit of um, animal life in our town. A little bit of chickens, a little bit of uh, sheep and stuff. And I also have the mod from Danny, which I don't remember the name for the mod, if it's called like... Uh, oh, composting. So uh, if you have animals with a shepherd, they will actually drop a little, little poo. <laughs> and you can use that poo for making uh, fertilizers. And it's a nice little addition. It makes me think of the game Don't Starve, where those um, cows go around and poo and you use them for fertilizing. Let's send out those soldiers. So I hope we can uh, be able to get some better armor today. Maybe we can work on a gate here later. So we can have maybe turrets on it. I do not think they have uh, their own turrets. Because making turrets in this game requires a lot of time modeling and also animation. And the animation is probably the biggest thing. Hey, where did the wolf go? <laughs> did he just poof away? I suppose so. I really like how this looks here when they're fishing. It looks really nice. I don't think there would be living much fish in this warm little um, pond, I guess. Uh, but let's see here, the doors. Okay, so it looks like I actually have to rebuild the entire house. So instead of doing that, we're gonna cheat the game a little bit because this um, wasn't really our fault. So we're just gonna destroy those. And then we're just gonna instant build them. And then we're gonna be done with them. We've got that one, and then we're gonna have the small one. Hello, Sintata. How are you doing? Uh, do you know what happens to the developers? Uh, pretty much uh, they had to finish up the game because Riot wanted them to finish it, so it was like, do you have this amount of time? Finish as much as you can at that time, and uh, then you can't keep working on it anymore. So the crew disbanded. Some people are still, I think, working for Riot Games. And some are probably, probably on other projects uh, for gaming. Maybe some are even working with uh, stuff that is not gaming at all. Or game development. But the modding community is uh, very, very much alive. There's a lot of people making mods. Like this one was made with uh, by Woucher, Finder's Sword, Silvercat, I think it was. And also Rohanna. And uh, I do think also that M Michael has joined the crew. I don't uh, saw that wrong. We have done a lot of different models for a Japanese kingdom in the past already. So he joined the ranks of them. Uh, let's see. Should we just continue with the walls? These walls are a little bit tricky for my people to build. We do have the resources. So it might just be that we need to do probably a ladder. Try to do the ladder where the red spots are. So hopefully that is going to work out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes people get stuck. Sasuke here. <laughs> Oh, I had to reseat it at the door as well. Okay, I have to rebuild it another one more time. It's weird why it leaves a hole like that. Oh, and this one also, again, I have to uh, move that to the side. There we go, that's how it's gonna be. Now we also wanna. Play Stardew Valley again. Okay, we have to rebuild uh, these at this side as well. Okay, let's just do it. If you guys are wondering why I'm doing this, uh, this mod was released recently. There were a few tiny bugs, uh, but they have been fixed now, so we just have to uh, redo our houses pretty much. Did I have a small one or did I have a big one here? a small one, I guess. That should be fitting. So there we go. 
I think that should be all the doors we need to fix. This song really makes me want to play, play Stardew Valley, I don't know, there feels like there's a very similar song in that game. To make ourselves a little bit more protective, I'm gonna do like a temporary door. So we're not gonna make anything advanced at all here. I'm just gonna kinda take the colors we have and I'm gonna put a door there, that's what we're gonna do. Or we can even do two just to make it a little bit more protective. So if we go like that, should be good enough. And in the middle, we can just um, remove a little bit. I might do a normal tunnel door. I could do this one. Or we, we can also use the portcullis, but like I said, I don't want to make anything advanced now. Then Banto ends up doing advanced stuff anyway. <laughs> That's how it usually goes. What's your favorite mod? If we include Ace, because that is a mod, I would have probably have to say Ace, because it fixes and adds so many things to the game. Um, other than that, um, let's think a little bit. I guess, because it's very useful, I would say maybe extra map options. Because uh, playing on small maps helps with performance so much, so I feel like that mod is like a really, really good one. So that one is really nice, like less lag, but also you can customize the map since that one has been updated. So you can do like water world, super flat, you can make canyon worlds and you can make so many different worlds with already existing biomes. So it's pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do here for the opening, I'm going to change a little bit of colors here. You can make it similar to what we got. What do you guys think if we do some live stream in the future with maybe Stardew Valley? Would you guys be in for that? And it might even be possible sometime to do a, like a multiplayer live stream with it. So I want to do it simple, but now it's becoming less simple. <laughs> uh, but what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna make so we can go up here. It's not gonna look very nice. Uh, but if we get like some arches, then we should be able to go up and uh, put them up there at least. And maybe we could make it hollow under here. Pink Barry, how are you doing? Good to see you again. Hope you're having a good day so far. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep adding things, so it's gonna be more and more advanced. Um, I just want to make this simple, but I guess it doesn't hurt to do a little bit more. Uh, I'm just thinking this thing could be where it could stand behind. Uh, maybe we should lower it. That should be better. And perhaps this could be pretty bright wood. Put in some arches. Tilts. That's the thing they can shoot through, right? Is it? Like uh, holes like that. It uh, would look really nice. The only thing is that unfortunately it doesn't work very good. I guess if we put windows everywhere it might work almost like there isn't anything blocking them, maybe. I haven't really tried that much. Like we could give it a try. Let's see how it would be if we... Let's say we would do something like this. I had ideas for making those um, those fin windows that archers can be shooting from to make that. I don't sh I don't know if there's a mod for it yet. 
I have a mod that I have worked on my own as well that I haven't released yet, which adds uh, lights to uh, windows and such during the night. So maybe I could do something for that one. I do think we get it later though. When you get to like tier 3, I I'm pretty sure you can unlock some of those windows, right? Like stone windows that has that. Uh, small windows and uh, this one, let's try that. So like if we put them next to each other, it looks kind of weird though. Maybe? Or they could even be part of the wall. They could even be part of the wall, like this could be as wood that's on top of it. <laughs> I don't know. Or should we have that over? Like if you want to, we can even make a roof here that goes over it. Uh, I guess we do it that like that. Uh, I'm probably gonna make remake it later to make a better one. Uh, but uh, this is gonna do for now. Let's see if we get some more stuck people. I do hear some enemies out in Wilderness. Let's see. Oh, we got some undead. Let's go for them. Vader's approaching. We need to get some bones. We're gonna see if we can uh, hopefully do that in not the far distant future. Gotta love the new battle music from our Master Kingdom. <laughs> A simple cloth merchant has arrived with wares to sell. Ooh! That's a new armor from Muramasa, right? Yo! <laughs> because I haven't seen that one before. I guess one clothing is for guys and one is for girls, maybe? That's pretty cool. Patch Amegasa, light traveling hat, meager protection. So we could buy in some protection. I guess for that's for our soldiers. Let's do that. Upgrade work outfit. Uh, this one is also for this kingdom, I'm pretty sure. So that's gonna be some nice headgear. And this was a house I was working on yesterday as well. Uh, after the live stream ended, um, Wednesday, I think it was. I was working on this one. That was supposed to be sort of like a tower, but I'm not sure what it if, what it will be later if we can use it or not. I haven't really that, done much for the inside of it, but I might want to have like a tower in a corner later or something. But I do think for now I'm gonna remove it. Then I did work on a new house uh, yesterday. So this is my latest house. I haven't really done the inside for it, uh, but this is my latest house I worked on. So I still need to do like the inside. The inside doesn't have anything for now. And I wonder if making stairs is the best for uh, these guys, or maybe doing like ladders would be more suitable. Because making la uh, stairs, they do take a lot of space. Sounds like we get a battle again. I'm really, really liking this new battle music so much better than the original. It's so nice to have a little bit of change for the battle music. Why is there like a door here? That looks weird. <laughs> oh, for some reason... Oh, it wasn't a door, it's just the blue flag. <laughs> it just matches perfectly with this, it just looked like it was a door. <laughs> but it feels like we should do like a temple or something later, that would be pretty cool. Bento, I'm so tired. I'm gonna go chug this monster. Okay, man. Hope we're gonna feel some more energies. So are you mostly trying out to like uh, fix your day cycle by being awake a lot, I guess? I'm not sure which way works the best, like being awake for very long or 
like f make you force sleep if you can like uh, early on and maybe only sleep like three hours because normally if i go to bed early and i have a very bad day cycle then i of often wake up after like three or four hours and then i'm like i can't sleep anymore <laughs> This wall is definitely a little bit frustrating with this. For them to build this. And let's see if we can fix our cook, because I think our cook might be able to maybe to do something more. Two meager meals, and this one is five meager meals, so we probably don't wanna do this one. So this one requires some vegetable and we don't really have that. Uh, so I guess we could make a few of these. This one doesn't say what it does actually, so probably not updated for Ace yet, I suppose. A bucket of unfermented mead. Actually, we might be able to make some, some drinks, because if we keep going to trees and when we chop them down, sometimes it drops some, um, some beehives from them, and if you break the beehives, you can get honey from them, and later on you can even have beehives to produce honey. But that way we can get some meat early on. Uh, we can also do some berry juice, could work. I think there's, isn't there a drink that requires fruit? This one requires fruit. Fruit spirit, here we have one, so that's level 3 cook, we need to have the copper brewery, and a little bit of fruit. Another one join, Mikasuki, hello, hello, hello. I'm playing an RTS that involves no pausing, and I'm doing good in it, what game is that, man? Uh, let's get some copper up here, we're gonna need it later. Speak of the devil, girlfriend, enemy. We're wondering when you would stream again. <laughs> Good to see you out there. Good to see you, man. This is our second live stream with the, your mod man. So we, I'm gonna get some copper up there. My people are busy working about my walls that they get stuck in. So I have to have a close eye on them so they don't get stuck too much. Put some ladders and things. But it's good to see Wouter. I hope you had a good day so far. I hope your girlfriend had a good day as well. Hello, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, can you show me the wall in build mode? Sure. And uh, let me... Oh yeah, I dropped out the house. I was thinking of combining two houses. Like, push two of these together as one. I might actually do that later. I loved the old builder when you can take two templates, put a block between them and they became the same template. It was so useful. I really, really miss that feature. Uh, this is my wall template. Uh, but the problem why it gets stuck is most likely due to this thing. Girlfriend had a tough day. Uh, just made her pancakes, nice. Then maybe she will feel a little bit happier. Is it wide? Uh, do you mean... It is 9 in width, and this one is 3 in width. That's a thick wall. <laughs> I guess, maybe. I feel like it's a pretty, pretty good one thickness to it. <laughs> Supermassive 1940, I'm playing as Finland and the person you... And the person you was Sweden declared war on me and I won. Nice. Thanks for beating me. <laughs> okay, some people stuck again. Looks like we finished a lot here now. And I just made a temporary gate here. We're gonna change that one later. That's a temporary thing we made. Bantu World Conquer. <laughs> yeah, Finland were 
pretty badass during the World War II, being able like to protect so long against <laughs> Russia. They were doing really, really great. It looks pretty neat with the walls and the gates. Yes, indeed. I usually take a long time to get the gates, as you know, and even roads as well. But it definitely makes it look more like a city. I feel like I have to plan a little bit around here. Maybe I will do that sort of bathhouse thing you did on Discord that you posted to do something like that here. Later. Would be nice to have some uh, nice flowers and good decorations around it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you just spoke about the bathhouse. Yes. I saw that one. It looked pretty awesome. It also has some walls around it, right? I guess we just put to build them all. I want to get them built. That's gonna have a pay a close look at them when they get stuck, so I can help them. Yeah, so let's see this one. Could it be that? Could be that we just need to put some ladders here. But that the bathhouse, that was uh, looking pretty nice. Eight in oak logs, four showed you sliding door. Oh, they want to turn Japanese to goblins? <laughs> oh, we need a goblin slayer now. Maybe you will find a, like a rare helmet or something, you can become the goblin slayer with these guys. <laughs> like the anime series. I really wish the AI was a little bit better so they didn't get stuck this much. Because them getting stuck is probably the thing that takes the longest in this game. Like a very long time. But we're gonna need some more wood for all these walls and probably even some more stone I suppose. White Death 500 confirmed kills Finnish sniper during a World War II fight against the Russians. Oh, it was like a single sniper, right? By the way, this music water. I don't know why, like the little background music that is going in the background, it really reminds me of Stardew Valley for some reason. There's like one song or something in Stardew Valley that sounds very similar to this one. Let's see if I can get that one to go away. Go. Yeah. I don't know which song it is in Stardew Valley, I could be remembering it wrong, but it is some song in it that reminds of this one a lot. 